Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 1st of 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to November already. Man, this year has whipped by really fast. Having a look at our sun here for the Daily Dew, last 48 hours, 304 angstroms, as we do have some incoming bright regions. No major solar flares to talk about from these bright regions. Two sunspots to talk about, but mostly CMEs from plasma filament eruptions. Having a look here, the last 48 hours incoming. Right-hand side, a lot of plasma filaments lifting up. And in the outgoing position, you can see a pretty sizable CME whipping away from our sun. This is it here. One sunspot region on the left and on the right. And then watching on the left-hand side there, you're going to see the plasma filament start to lift and then rip away in the last frame. Another closer look here at the event as this was not in an Earth-facing direction. ISWA space pr prediction is not predicting a space weather event for us. But pretty large plasma filament erecting. Looking at multi-spectrum, we do have solar tornado to talk about there. And as well, a quick look at that CME taking off in the last frame. It's been pretty quiet the last couple days, mostly being affected by coronal hole wind streams. 171 angstroms here. You can see the darkened region there. We do have an earth-facing coronal hole right now. And we did have that jack-o'-lantern style coronal hole set up a few days ago. And we are seeing those effects now as our solar winds did pick up to about 580 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux remains in a lowered B range. Solar proton flux is low as well. And geomagnetic activity slightly raised here with a KP3. Looking at our real time solar wind right now, we're sitting at 413 kilometers per second. And that's been steadily dropping here over the last 12 hours after being up, as I said, around 580 kilometers per second yesterday. Triangle completely flipped. Space predict prediction spiral showing this large CME taking off in an outgoing fashion and not towards anything serious. Having a look at Lasco 2, we've got a sun diving comet there to observe in the first few images. This is from the last four days, 28th until the November 1st. See me taking off from the sun two days ago, not in an earth-facing fashion. And then again, top right-hand side showing the most recent see me. Amazing imagery here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. And as well, Soho. Schumann Resonance for today, a low power of 5. Quick look at the telemetry, amplitude of 5, quality of 6.2, and a power of 4. Now let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours. Quick browse, but we're going to update here the last three days as I haven't produced an update. And welcome back, everybody. I hope you appreciate all of the information shared here in the video. USGS reporting about 230 earthquakes across the USGS map. And a lot of earthquakes have been rocking Peru since a large 5.5 the other day. Another 4.4 there today. So what's going on in Peru? Nazca played here, West Chile rise yesterday. And that's the largest earthquake the last three days. 5.8. No major seismic concerns across the North American plate. Heightened elevated Earthquakes here, 3.9 atop of Mauna Loa. Hawaii, as well Alaska, seeing quite a bit of activity. 
Way too quiet through Japan region. 5.4 reported today, 107 kilometer depth. And then look at all this activity right from the Indian plate, straight north of the Australian plate and into the Band of Sea. Deep earthquakes today, 4.5 and a 4.6, both very deep, 530 kilometer depth and as well 500 kilometer depth. Recent earthquake today through the region, Western Zhang, China. And as well yesterday, a notable here, pretty sizable, Tortora, Marina, Italy, 5.5 earthquake, but 267 kilometer depth. Heads up for volcanic activity through the region. Give you a quick browse here at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. Most of the activity has been in South America. And as well across the Pacific Plate, west into the Indian Plate. Heads up, stay aware and prepared. I'm expecting a large earthquake here within the next 24 to 36 hours. I, and I still don't believe Central America has released enough pressure. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery across the world and as well updating the most recent volcanoes. Looking at Sabancaya in Peru. Senge in Ecuador. Nevada de Ruiz, Colombia. Popocatépetl, Mexico. Fuego, Guatemala. Bagana, Papua New Guinea. Ebico in Russia. Shevelich in Russia. So that's about nine volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 54 that are active and erupting across the planet. Looking satellite imagery here, one tropical storm through the Atlantic. Look at that forecast track all the way up to the North Pole, up into Greenland and Iceland. We've also got tropical storm Lisa, who's going to be heading west into Guatemala. Across the Pacific, one tropical system to talk about, tropical storm Nalgi, who took a lot of lives as it went across parts of northern Philippines. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected there. That is now grinding up into South China, Vietnam border. Another alert here for fires breaking out across the northern territory of, of Australia. Some are being reported a day ago, some are re reported three months ago, but nonetheless, there are quite a few more icons here with fires popping up northern, northern Territory, Australia. Overlooking weather here, got a big snowstorm that is occurring now through southern Alberta and is going to grow and head eastward through Saskatchewan and Manitoba, and then watch as this system turns into a convergence line, heading straight up north to the Hudson Bay. High pressure is going to battle in the east, keep things dry, but the west, we've got system after system penetrating the coastlines here. So pretty much BC and up, it's gonna be snowfall, and Washington south, a lot of rain. A pretty big system here developing in the long range and a pretty strong snowstorm developing for the Canadian prairies and parts of northern Ontario and into Quebec. Watch for very strong winds through the Atlantic provinces over the next couple days. Some pretty strong systems developing across the northern hemisphere right now as we are getting ready for winter. Polar vortex is definitely setting up. Overlooking the Atlantic, we've got tropical cyclone Martin, who is set to go straight north up into the North Atlantic and grind up in between Iceland and parts of the United Kingdom, bringing waves of moisture here from Thursday, Friday, the 10th into the 11th long-range forecast. No major systems here affecting Africa 
daily evaporation rains through your regular regions. Pretty strong low here. We'll be heading down through Italy and into the Mediterranean this week. Watch for stormy conditions. As well as Southeast Asia. Watch for tropical cyclone Nalgae. And as well as stormy conditions through southern India and parts of Vietnam. Overlooking Australia, dry conditions here persisting for the next few days. Your next major system will be coming in Tuesday into Wednesday. And then watching the long range, a pretty strong system coming to you. Much love, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smack that like button. And maybe share with a friend or family member. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye bye now. And thank you very much for all of your support and love to this channel. Continue and further the research and productions. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.